Welcome to the channel, guys. Today I've got a water box list that's inspired by Israel Sosa's top eight at Seattle. I did change a couple cards of his list just to try out some new things, just to kind of give it a little bit of flair, a little bit of oddness to it. Basically, just trying to make it unique. Uh, the big things I did change was I put in the one one wishy washy. With the wishy, this wishy washy in particular, I think is really strong in this because with Lapras's Blizzard Edge, you can't, you can't, you only does one sixty that you can't attack next turn. Well, with Manaphy, you free retreat to this, bounce it back up, you can attack again. So you can spam it off of one Lapras, which is really, really strong. Um, and it gives you the ability to make it so you don't have to have two Laprases in order to start swinging uh, consistently. So I think that's really strong in this. Uh, this Wishy Washy, I put it in as like a last minute tech just for like a, a last minute Ninja Boy option if you need to like, let's say you have like three energies on a Lapras that you energy switch attached to it, you can Ninja Boy into this, hit for 220 for game. It just gives you an option just to do huge amounts of damage uh, whenever you need to. Other than that, I don't think it's that good, but it could be a little niche in this. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same though. Uh, aqua patches, energy switches, field blowers, elixirs. Uh, my spore line is a little bit iffy too, like two Lysander, two Ed. A, a Ninja Boy, obviously because of the Wishy Washy and because Ninja Boy in general in this deck is really strong because Let's say if you had to play like your Lele early or you start with a Lele, you can just Ninja Boy to Lapras and then uh, basically just draw whatever you need to. Or you just Ninja Boy your bad starter into Lapras uh, if you have it and just collect. And then Center Lady I like too just because uh, there's a lot of chip damage in this deck or against this deck, I think that, in this format rather. And with Rough Seas and that, you're just getting, you're just removing it. It also gets rid of like confusion and stupid stuff like that if you don't have the Mana Fee yet. It's just stuff like that. And then... Two choice band and twelve energy. Uh, the two choice band could be rough. Uh, I I think that it's kind of it's quote unquote the standard. I know I think Sosa ended up playing three of them in this, and I think three might be the way to go in this deck. But I'm gonna try two just to see if it's enough. Uh, but we're actually gonna take this deck into a couple games. So I'll just go ahead and save it real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and play a few games with it. Now. The one thing about playing this deck, yeah, you have to, like, Garbodor, you can't go too aggro against Garbodor, but you can go aggro enough to where if you hit Lapras's, you should be okay. Now, I think I'm playing as Volcanion, because I'm playing as Fire, or it could just be, like, a random deck, but I did lose the coin flip, so he's going to opt to choose to go first or second. Fire colorless, I don't know. It's a hard, it's, it's weird to say, but... Pretty good opening hand, as long as I hit an energy, uh, or a, a, something like another Lapras would be good so I can double elixir to it. Uh, the quick second, I have the Lapras for the collector at least, so that's pretty good. But, I don't know. We will see what he's playing, he might just end me first turn. So, honestly that's kind of what I've noticed with this format, is that I look at my opening hand going second, and I'm just like, this isn't going to be my opening hand. I'm going to get end first turn, so. That's kind of why I'm thinking that it may not be, but if it is, I don't know. It depends on what I draw into, but it could be really spicy. It could be really bad though, so. Open Raditz how to start. That's interesting. Handiwork. Oh, I'm playing as Houndoom. Okay. It's cute. It's got Water Aqua Patch. That kind of sucks. Drew it to a Lapras. Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and Elixir to it. We'll go ahead and elixir to it again. Now if I hit, I could go for the end. He didn't do much this this turn. So ending it was kind of weird, but at the same time, if I hit the patch energy, I win. So I guess just go for it. I drop the C's just so I don't drop it, draw into it. Um, yeah, I, I shouldn't have done that. It's okay though. I can, I can still collect this turn and not have to worry about anything. So. And then next turn I have the mana fee and I have everything else, so basically I may have got him out of a bad situation, but my hand wasn't actually playable going into that, so it just would have depended on what I draw into. So it is it is ha have to go with hammers. Uh he did end up hitting a crush egg, which is fine. Did two crush eggs, which is okay. Three energy so far. Uh, he did discard a patch, which kind of sucks, but uh, going in, but it's one of those things where it's not too bad. This, 
I don't really know how well this matchup is, honestly. Like, if they could just get rid of energies off of you, it would make sense that it would be bad, but... He opted not to attach the belt to anything. That's kind of interesting. He hit three crushing hammerheads. All heads. Dang. Alright, well, there goes my elixirs and stuff, but I do have a patch and an elixir. So, we're gonna go ahead and patch, for sure. And... I guess I just elixir too, honestly. This is my discard. I do have an add, so I can I can add instead of ditching all this stuff. So I like that idea better. I did with the elixir. I think that's the third elixir I've played. It is okay. Choice band's not going to do much for me this game, so I think I'm just going to be a seeker for add and try to get another energy. Basically, he's already played three crushing hammers, so I don't think... It obviously probably puzzles and stuff too with the Tellers. It'll be kind of hard, but... It, the energy kind of sucks, but... we just go into it. <laughs> if he hits the fourth crushing hammer heads, it's gonna suck, but... I do have two patches left and an elixir. And basically, I know he's not gonna do damage to this, so... If I just, uh... If I just try to bide my time a little bit, to play an Aqua Hideout, which doesn't do much. Uh, this is one thing that kind of sucks. Discard an energy and a, a Sutter Lady. I would have drawn to the energy that turns, so that would have been bad. Or that kind of sucks, but. Um, he did just play a Shaman. He's going to Rotor Solar twice, which is fine. Um, basically, I just have to. Oh, he's going to shuffle with two hammers. Okay. That's fine, too. I'm okay with that. As of right now, not much else I can really do about it yet, but another ultra. We'll drop the mana fee for sure, we'll drop a seize. Just because we can, we're ultimately gonna sick more all this all away, but um Pseudo Widow I think is, is not the greatest thing in this matchup. I kinda want him to drop random stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and discard both of these. Okay, I keep deselecting, reselecting. Uh, I can grab a lot of things, really. Uh, Articuno might be really strong in this matchup, too, because he has like low attackers. And I can just draw multiple prizes with it, so I'll grab that. Um, not that I'll probably have to be able to get three energies on an Articuno, but we'll see how that plays out. It's one for 20. Okay, so this isn't too bad, but... At the same time, against this, it's kind of not ideal. Think of just, because right now he can flare grunt this if I attach to it. So I think I'm just going to attach to the bench, attach to Articuno. Basically, just try to like make it so he has to play his hammers again in order to discard energy. Um, and then just try to keep, take it kind of slower. Now, one thing that does kind of suck about this is that if unless I draw it to like a patch or something, it's gonna kind of be hard because I have to attach to this. But hammer, so it does play how yeah how do which he dropped it, which is good for me, and he dropped another shaman, which is also good for me. Basically, this is how I win this game is I just kill those, but. Um, Fighting Fairy Ball doesn't do much with weakness. He did hit a hammer, so let's see if he hits it. Because he's going to play it. He did end up hitting it. There's not much I can do about that, really. Uh, he's going to shuffle back two. Basically, I have to hit two. I have to hit either both of my patches or my a patch of my last elixir in order to swing this turn, which kind of sucks, but... Basically, I haven't seen a flare grab, but at the same time, I haven't had anything attached to my active, so that would make sense. Um, he has four cards in hand, six. I can't stick more because I'm running low as it is. So, I just attach here and I add, try to see if I can hit more energy. This way, I lose out one card after all, overall, but. Um, yeah. At this point, it just comes down to 
I have to hit everything at the right time. Like, if I draw to a patch next turn or an elixir, I'll be able to watch out this uh, how to, which will be perfect um, going into next turn. Basically, I'm just trying to make it so he has to play his hammers. Okay, he finally hit tails on one, thank God. <laughs> but it's one of those things where he might just hit the Lysander. He paralleled me to three? He did. Which is okay, because I'm not too worried about that per se, but he does decide to burrow one. That's an energy, but elixir. So see if I hit the elixir, which I don't. If I would have hit the elixir this turn, I would have been able to just attach it, retreat, do all, all kinds of crazy stuff, but um I guess this is why Olympia would be better, because you can just Olympia into it. I could have Olympia this turn if this was Olympia instead of a Center Lady. So... I guess I could see that. Now, the one thing I could do is I could Ninja Boy into, a, into the Wishy Washy and bounce it that way. Which I actually kind of like that, so we're gonna go and do that. I bounce, you go into this guy and then just bounce it. Um, just smart, I guess, but... It might be a little too little too late. Drop that. Let's wait for the 160. At least this way he's not... Uh, at least this way he's not grabbing all kinds of stuff anymore, which is good. But I had a kind of a slow start against this, so it's not the ideal. But he did hit a fire guy. He's going to discard energy too, so that kind of sucks, but... Maybe energy and discard, which is rough actually. It really is. But. Huh. I get N off of it. Basically, just gonna retreat back into this and build up the energy again just to see if I can. Just N. Uh, I guess I have to try to maintain resources as much as possible. But it definitely is tricky because I need to hit a lot of stuff. Which actually, that is perfect. Because I can't, yeah, I can't do that, so. I mean, it kind of, it's kind of bad, but at the same time, it's kind of good because I know he can't discard, I know he doesn't have the rat, so he can't discard the energy off of it, so. I don't know. And now next turn, I just need to hit. Like, I know he has to go either to this or try to hit another buddy. But if I can hit a Lysander going in, I should be okay. I only have one patch left, so that kind of sucks. But I have an energy. I have a switch. Uh, basically, he has to hit a Crushing Hammer and a Flare Grip in order to discard the two energies off this. So... I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what I gave him off the end. That's the one thing that kind of sucks about this deck going in, is that everything plays heavy end in this format, and it never takes you prizes, this, so you're always drawing six off of it. Because everything's trying to be more guard constrained. Yeah, I see. What's, he's trying to get, gonna go into money. Uh, I don't know if he's going to do it this turn or not, but maybe just go into this this turn. But off to Sycamore, discard the rat, and a I'm surprised he didn't decide to drop the rat. Kind of interesting. He did hit a crushing hammer. See if he hits another one. Does not hit another one. So, again, I'm just going to go into the... Basically, just going to attach this. Go into a tree into this. Cowardice it up. It's pretty... Ver it's pretty... Uh, that's pretty intuitive, really. Like, just being able... Like I said, I only have three energy on the board right now, and I'm just, I'm able to one-shot because I could just retreat back into it. I did hit a patch, so that's good if I, uh, if he hits another hammer. If he hits the second hammer, oh, my last prize was prized, actually. That kind of, that kind of sucks. But, um, he's going to go into Buddy this turn, and he'll probably, if he can hit a hammer flare grunt, I might still win this, depending. Because I, do I have a lesser here? No, I don't have a Lysander yet. 
but I could field blower if I hit I need to hit some cards honestly that's ultimately what that comes down to um, I need to hit a Lysander on a Shea going in and then I need to hit uh, he did enemy to two so if he hits like double hammer off this that could be really bad uh, energy ultra ball ugh because I can't ultra ball for a Lele so he's going to double burrow Discard's choice band. And the energy switch, which is alright. Entry is sick more. Which I don't really even want to play it. I kind of just want to retreat back into this and just watch and just kill it. I just kind of play conservatively. Um, so I think that's actually what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And just try to make it so I can't I don't give him any outs. And if he does end up Lysandering up one of these two, I could just uh I can just retreat in with the energy that I have at hand. Uh, but basically, I'm just trying to make it so he can't... Like, I, if I discard... Like, if I draw seven, I'll go to nine. And if he, like, does, like, double handiwork and, like, discards two or some crazy stuff like that, uh, he might be able to win this. So I'm just trying to keep my deck as big as possible. Uh, the one thing I could have done was attach this energy, but I might not need to. It just kind of depends. Because then it only discards two, but... I could have just I could have went for it regardless and then just tried to like hit the patches and stuff, but uh I just don't think it's gonna matter too much. He's gonna flare ground. He may hit the energy he may hit the oh he did not. So yeah, that's game then. It's definitely game. Attach. Cowardice it up. And then basically just go to that. Uh but that wishy washy is really strong, actually. Just being able to being able to just constantly bounce it back up and constantly just being able to blizzard edge is really, really strong. Uh, so that's something I'm kind of noticing. Now the GX one, I haven't really seen too much, it do too much and haven't had too many opportunities for it, uh, but maybe it will, who knows. I'm gonna play one more game on this video just to kind of showcase the deck a little bit more since we played against something kind of different. But it's basically just patches and elixirs and going ham with l apresses and yeah basically just doing doing all of it so it's pretty crazy uh it's a good it's a good deck honestly i would consider it if i was going to madison for sure uh, just because it's very it's strong it's, it, it has a lot of a lot of boards presence so we are in, oh we're going first this game Woo. Woo. so hit the articudo to glaciom I think I would start being annoying and start with Articuno. Hit some chill in size, you know, that kind of thing. I just still Ultra Ball for whatever. I think it's like Fighting Colorless it is choicing, so... That could be like Lycanroc, or it could be like Zygarde, or it could be like a lot of different things, so... I don't know. Let's see what we... We'll see what we see. A Yivital. Completely wrong. Alright. Well, let's see. Let's go to Ultra Ball. Go ahead and discard Sycamore. Because I'm going to end this turn, so uh, I'm going to And I'm just going to look through. The Wishy Washies are there. Three Lapras are in there. Aqua Patches. Two Elixir are prized. Uh, one Patch is prized. Uh, all the Energies are in there. Two Choice. Looks like, for the most part, everything else is decently there. Um, Probably just gonna grab a Lapras. And then I'm just gonna attach to it just because of flare ground shenanigans, you know. You don't want to attach to like I feel like it's kind of a rule turn one you shouldn't attach to your active just because flare ground is a card and it's it gains popularity. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and see the window turn one, let's see what that does. And we're gonna pass. Next turn I can Ninja Boy this Articuno into a Lapras, so I can just start collecting. It's pretty cool. Uh, get me out of this bad hand. So, not bad. Uh, either way, even without, even with missing the mana fee. So that's kind of a, a little niche thing with Ninja Boy. Just being able to. Now, if I would have started with uh, the other starter I had in my head was a uh, Glaceon, it would have been two anyway. So yeah, it wouldn't have mattered too much. I could just Ninja Boy that back hand too. So, but uh, yeah. I don't think it ultimately mattered. Ultimately, what I started with, just because I'm just gonna Ninja Boy do a Lapras anyway. But 
Who knows? Maybe he'll do something that'll make it matter. Or maybe he'll do nothing at all. There we go. That's an arc. Is that all he's gonna do? I hope not. Even though my my turn my, my next turn is not gonna be too exciting either, because I'm just gonna ninja boy and collect, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, does hit a fan club. What does he decide to go for? This card's becoming increasingly popular. Ooh, Dark Ray. I have not tested against the Dark Ray on this yet, so. We will see how this plays out. See, he doesn't have any dark in there. I'm just gonna blow me away for 30. Okay, that's pretty not optimal at all. Optimal at all. I do have a Lele for next turn, so that's pretty good. So yeah, we're just gonna go Ninja Boys and Labyrus, and basically we are going to see what we draw into. Since his, his star is not too great either. Did hit the energy. I have an E switch for next turn too. I also have the Lysander on one of these Dark Rise and the Choice Band, so I have everything. I'm gonna need. He's gonna probably top a Lele for an end though to try to disrupt, which is cool. I'm not particularly worried about that. Because... Oh, it decides to get a Sycamore. Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice there. Let's see what else... Maybe his hand's just terrible. Who knows? Uh, he, his bench is full now because that's a Widow. It's pretty fire. Yeah, his hand was not that good. Even Tall Dark. Lysander. He got a Lysander of this, but... What would be the point, really? Does hit an Elixir. Uh, he attached here, so I did attach to this one, okay. It ultimately decides to oblivion wing. So I get to keep my hand, so I can hit the one shot next turn and see which one he attaches to, attaches to this one. So I can actually one shot at this turn, which is really strong. And I think that's ultimately what I'm going to do, because uh, I think that's kind of the smart... He loses one energy, ultimately, but... Yeah, that's worth it. So go energy switch. Go to the active. Choice be the active. And then Lysander up the Dark Cry. I even have the mana fee too. So I could have done it with this one, but 2040. I might as well just drop it anyways. And then we're just gonna burn. He's gonna hit the energy. He's gonna attach this energy to this. I don't think he's gonna have enough to hit the 130 at all. He might hit it with a choice band, but even then, it's like... It may, that might have just been too aggressive, but he did ultimately decide to bring him even tall, so... I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. Um, okay, he doesn't alter... 20, 40, 60, 80... He needs to... Ooh! He needs to hit an elixir and a choice band in order to knock this out. Uh, which he could hit. It's very possible, but... If I, and if he does hit it, I'm not necessarily in a good spot, actually. Except I have the Lele for the end. But that's about it. But I don't think he hit it, actually. No, he did not hit it, so... Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for probably Sycamore at this point with the Lele. Do I have an energy in this card? I do not. Oh, we're all just top in Sycamore. That works, too. But we're going to go ahead and attach to this. Uh, we're gonna go to field blow our way these two XP shares. What do I want to get rid of? No, let's get rid of the XP shares because I can I can hit the stadium to get rid of the moon. So, um, and then I could go for the end, but I'm just gonna draw four out of it. So I'm just gonna stick more. Try to hit. Wow, not that. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I'm kind of not surprised I didn't hit that one here. Then I'm just going to retreat, collect. Uh, I was trying to hit the... I wanted to hit the rough seas to try to get some of this damage off, but... Ugh. Five energy, a Via Seeker, and a energy switch. Well, energy switch is tight. And with the Via Seeker, I hit the Lysander on this other Dark Eye, so that's pretty strong. But... Yeah. Basically, it also depends on what he draws into. Which he ultimately failed the Ultra Ball. I noticed that the, like the pseudo widow is actually putting in some work. Honestly, he did ultimately decide to add. So, 
my five energy hand goes away, which I'm partially okay with. Oh, what in the heck? Well, I can still hit the one shot, which is strong, but I don't think much else other than that, though, honestly. But I still have the Lysander. But if he decides to if he decides to retreat into this and swing, then I can retreat and seize, but 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40. He's only doing a 40 to 70 with a choice, so he's not killing me yet. Um, but that's gonna hit for 60, which is good. And then touch another energy. But basically once I get rid of this dark ray, I don't know what he's gonna do. So he has the hundred shot on that, so with a choice that could be enough, but we're gonna go ahead and seize. And then we're basically just gonna lie center up another another dark ride. One shot it. Not much else really. He has to hit like a ninja boy off of three cards in order to do anything. He just scooped. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I would probably just scoop too. So that was Pat that was the deck. Um, I think it's really strong going into going into Madison. I didn't really like it at first when I saw it originally when I saw Sosa's list. But I didn't I just didn't think it had much placing in this format, but it's definitely got a place. I think I definitely think it's probably definitely tier two at least, if not tier one. Uh, it does have a good time against Garbodor if you play it correctly. Uh, if they play it correctly as well, then it's kinda harder for you, but it all depends on like starts and stuff like that. But ultimately, I think the deck is strong, and I think that it's definitely something I would watch out for. I think people will play it at uh, Madison. I don't know how many people will think will ultimately pick it up, but I do know that people will play it uh, just because Sosa did well with it and because it's aggressive as crazy. So, basically, I think that ultimately it's gonna be it's gonna be strong, and I think you'll see it. I'd be prepared for it. Uh, but this was kind of my introduction video to this to this deck. Um, of course. Definitely, if you have any comments about the list, if you have any comments about anything, please hit me up on the comments. Um, if you like the content you see, definitely subscribe to me on Chubby Shalupa. Also, I stream on Twitch every now and then, Chubby Shalupa to Lupa TCG. I also have a Twitter page at CrabberNathy914, and I also do a Facebook page at Chubby Shalupa TCG. Uh, that one's kind of just started up, but more or less just trying to get, uh, more or less just trying to get out there, you know? But this was kind of my take on the Patch City deck uh, that Sosa made oh so famous. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys got some insight about it. Maybe you're thinking about it for Madison. You, you didn't see it or something like that. Or didn't see any text that I played or something like that. Uh, hopefully it gives you kind of some inspiration for your guys' list. But uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.